Welcome everyone, I will be reviewing this LEGO Ferrari 812 Capazzani, which was released on March 1st, 2023. The retail price for it was $24.99. This set comes with 261 pieces. Let's take a look at the back here. You can see it comes with three additional pictures, one showing the rear of the car, another picture showing the front end of the car, and another picture of the actual car. The pictures for this set does look really nice. I'll go over some of the few things this set comes with. It'll come with a instruction manual going over the steps to how to build the car. And looking at the back of the instruction manual, it shows all the pieces that comes with the set. We'll set this aside here. The set also comes with one minifigure. The figure has a helmet here. You can see he has some nice hairdo. Looking at his face, he has a nice grin. He also has some facial hair. Looking at his shirt, he's wearing a nice button up shirt with good detail. Having pockets on it and some wrinkles also showing the button up and the collar. Down here at the pants, he seems to be wearing some pretty basic gray pants here. Looking at the back here, you can see there's more detail on the shirt here with the wrinkles and the creases of the shirt. I think this guy matches the car pretty nicely. I'll set him aside here. And here's the main event the car. Looking at the side view here, the car looks pretty sleek. It seems to have a nice color scheme, red, black, and yellow. It seems to have a good amount of details on the car. We'll start at the front end of the car. It has some nice stickers here adding on more details to the hood of the car. It also has some nice printed headlights on these pieces here. Looking down here, it also has a sticker for the grill, and right under it is another sticker as well. They also have a sticker right here too, adding on that additional detail. Moving along to the left side of the car here, you can see that there is another sticker right here Looking towards the roof of the car, this piece right here has printed on detail. Now looking down here to the wheels, it seems like they have some nice 9 spoke grey rims here. Looking closely, you can see that they have some drilled rotors inside the wheels here. They also give you additional set of rims which I have on the right side here. It's a nice looking 5 spokes grey set of rims. There is also another sticker right here. Looking at the top of the vehicle here you can see they have a nice printed piece right here and some more stickers in the back here to add on the detail. There is also a sticker here for the window of the car on both sides. Looking towards the back of the car you can see there's more stickers here. They also have these nice printed tail lights and a printed event on this part. The car seems to be a dual exhaust. Looking at these two exhaust tips. It is very interesting how they designed it. Now we're gonna take a look into the inside of the car here. So I'm gonna take off the roof of the car here real quick. Looking into the car here, you can see that it's a two-seater. 
It has some pretty nice looking black seats here with some printing on headdress. It has a nice sticker in the center console here adding on some details to the center console. Looking at the front dash of the car, they seem to have some nice shapes here for detail. The interior overall seems pretty nice. Now we're going to try a fitment test to see how well a minifigure fits in the car. So let me grab him here and position him. Now let's put him in. It seems like he fits in there pretty nicely and his arms do have some space to move. Now we'll have to see if the roof of the car will close properly since sometimes if the minifigure is wearing their hairdo it doesn't close all the way. Looking from the side here it seems like it closes perfectly fine which is great. Look at how cool he looks in there. I think the exterior of the car is really nice with a lot of details from the front end all the way to the back end with plenty of stickers and printed on pieces. It also has really nice angles and curves on the car. I also thought the interior of the car was really nicely done as well. Having some stickered parts and printed on pieces. I think the outfit for the minifigure also matches the car pretty well. The price for this set seems to be pretty good. Roughly rounding to 9.5 cents per piece. So overall I think this set's a really nice set. If I was to rate it, I would rate it a 9 out of 10. Thank you everyone for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and share. Hopefully we'll catch you on the next one.